Hey, it's Allie Edwards and welcome to another episode of Craft the Story. In today's episode, I'm going to do another little spread in my summer traveler's notebook, trying to keep up with that uh, a little bit here. And I have a fun idea that I want to test out with you. It's another insert idea. I've done, I did this guy here. See, this, there was, I added this one too. This was a four by six that I added in just with a little bit of extra paper, but I kind of wanted to play around with the idea of doing it with vellum. And so I have a couple things here. I have one sheet of vellum that I wanna use as the part that's gonna hold the tags in place. And then I was gonna do another sheet of vellum that's like on top of these two tags. So I've got two tags and a pleather piece. These are from our Great Outdoors collection that we released a couple weeks ago. So I'm gonna write handwrite journaling on one side, um, or actually on both sides, we'll have camp on one side, we'll have fresh air on the other side. And what I'm thinking about doing, I'm just gonna probably just use the vellum inside here. This is kind of my initial thought process. You know, if I, if I adhere the vellum to the in between these two tags, I'll be able to use that to hold it in place. And then I also wanted to just take this printed vellum and this can be the home for my pleather piece here. And this will basically be another piece on top that will then fold up to reveal the, <clears throat> excuse me, tags underneath. And then I've got a little piece of ribbon here. So that's a quick, just kind of overview of what I'm going to be doing here. And we're going to see how this all comes together. So the first thing I want to do is adhere these tags together with the vellum on the inside of them that will again be um, attached underneath here to be able to hold the whole thing in the traveler's notebook itself. So I'm going to leave just a little bit of extra vellum there along the side again. This doesn't have to be, you know, the perfect size here. It could be, actually, it doesn't even need to go all the way over. I'm just going to do it because I've got it there now. Uh, and I'm going to cut it so that it's the same shape, obviously. The edge, too. And I think what I'm going to do um, is I want, I want to get it all the way in, and I want this part to be cut. And so we don't necessarily need... Um, all of this over here on the side. Let's just cut that so that it gets in the right spot. Actually, a little bit tighter even. There we go. So I'll be able to have this, which is going to go inside like this, and I can put it anywhere on here, right? Just like I've done on other ones. It can be a little bit farther up the page. It could be at the top. It could be at the bottom. You could do multiples of these. And then this is going to get adhered on the top. So let's go ahead and do that. And then I'm also going to punch the hole here. And then I'll go ahead and I'll do the journaling first before I actually put it inside there because I want to be able to have, I don't want to write on top of there. Sometimes I get ahead of myself and get too excited and stick that in on the inside before it's actually ready. I'm gonna make the hole on here just a little bit bigger using this awesome hole punch from We Are Memory Keepers. Uh, I'm gonna go, like I said, a little bit bigger because I wanna put that uh, ribbon through there. So this has a one quarter inch circle punch. It has actually a bunch of different sizes, which I just think is one of the, the coolest tools that I've seen that have come out in the last couple years. So I'll be able to take the ribbon and just slide it through and then probably staple it. That's kind of what I like to do. It's going to add a little bit of bulk to it, but not, not a ton. And then I'm going to add my journaling right on top.
All right, wrapping this one up by adding on that second full page photo there. That again is four and a quarter by eight and a quarter. And I have been using a corner rounder on the edges of all of these images. Uh, still loving the process of this one. I'm gonna add on the other date there. So we were there for two days. Just a short, sweet little story that's gonna go into this notebook that is just full of all kinds of different things that we've done this summer. So I love being able to look back at that. As always, let me know if you guys have any questions in the comments below, and I hope to get to more of your storytelling Q&A questions uh, and share those here soon.